Hey everyone, my name is of course Mr. Mocha Lover. I hope you're having a great day. Let's continue playing as the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but I kind of didn't realize the total amount of losses that both sides has uh, suffered. So we have suffered, as the Central Powers, about 7 million casualties so far, with the Entente losing a little under double of what we have. Very surprising to me actually. South Africa's lost 590 guys. Uh, UK of course has lost that many. France has lost over four and a half. Italy's lost almost three quarters of a million. The Portuguese Republic has lost over a third of a million. The Japanese Empire has lost almost 200,000. The USA has lost over half a million. The Russians are approaching four million as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, I have coffee here, so if I'm not talking like I will in like one second. Ah, very good. That means I'm drinking coffee probably. So, let us continue. So, what happened last time? Serbia, or I guess not Serbia, but it's the... The Entente decided to ally with the Greeks, or the Greeks decided to ally with the Entente, and have thusly decided to strike into what was controlled territory of southern Serbia. Also, I've just done war bonds, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I did see, I did see that France is in a state of desperation. They are out of manpower, uh, so I'm fairly convinced that we might be able to do some serious damage here. So, because they don't have any manpower left. No manpower means a potentially good time for attacks on, uh, or at least strategic attacks on certain provinces. What about Belgium, though? Oh, they only have 100,000, that's good. Ooh, Albert I, interesting. So, uh, let's help this group out since they are running out of equipment. Then, pretty much every single nation here I've checked that's at war, for the most part is in some sort of deficit, so just to let you know, and I should have made more of our backup soldiers. Oh wait, 39 and 1? Who is... Is anyone not? Oh, you, we have a Bulgarian soldier. We have one Bul Bulgarian soldier in here. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That, that makes sense. That makes Yeah, that actually makes sense. Yes, yes. Oh, right. So last time we were kicking some serious Russian ass. And that is only going to continue right now. I think the Russians are really looking grim here now. They're looking very, very grim. We'll see how the rest of this war will turn out for them. But last time we did take Kiev, which was really, really great for us. Oh, we're still trying to take this province. Okay. We are on the verge of a potential victory over many of the armies in the east. And even on the western front. We're taking back some more German soil. And if we launch attacks on the French soil, on French soil itself, we might be able to do well. They have a few trenches, maybe a few forts along the line, but their soldiers cannot replace or not can, cannot be replenished, which is very important. I'm also trying to drink up this coffee quickly because it's quickly turning cold. No one likes cold coffee. Ah, all right, there we go. So anywhere we can continue to exploit. Ah, uh, here looks pretty good. Let's do that. I don't want to attack this just yet. It's five divisions. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Not much else we can do except just kind of watch. Eight seventy-seven. Uh, keep putting more soldiers in, and we get two percent. Or no, we get better division training time. Awesome, because we are still mobilizing from the last military youth thing. And the dual monarchy. Can't do that. Harsh rationing. Military factory would be nice. Maybe we'll do that. Recruitment propaganda. Well, we don't really need Poland. We're doing very well without any extra help, really. Airfield expansion, and eh, not really important. Maybe equipment for trench warfare. Well, what will benefit us the most is probably equipment efforts. Let's do that. It'll be benefit us eventually, at least. So, holding the line here, fine. Holding here pretty well. Even with the United States here helping them out. Still can't do that great. The enemy can, at least. Uh, I, I doubt we'll actually be able to do anything here, but we could try. Oh, well, maybe maybe not you. Uh, well, yeah, we aren't really winning the battle. I just want to see if I can grind down some more French manpower. Also, we are out of equipment. We are at least out of um, support companies, which isn't good. So what we're going to do is continue to mitigate what we have here. 
Keep that down there. Do that. Oh, do that. But I do want to start making or start thinking about making some armored cars. That'll come in handy. They'll come in very handy. Uh, these attacks aren't going super great, but you know I kind of expected that. Hmm. That's why we need armored cars. I don't want to take the Belgian line because they're pretty strong. Oh my God, Germany! What are you doing? Oh, actually, they've lost territory in the Baltics. Look at that. They lost territory in Lithuania. With that in mind, they are attacking. Oh, we did take that piece of territory. Good. Oh, it's down here. Well, close enough. Eight divisions is quite a few. Uh, are we trying to reorganize our line yet? Mm, this doesn't look very balanced. It does not look very balanced. That's a lot of divisions we have. If we can beat up the Russians, we'll have so many more divisions we can spend in the Middle East and the rest of Europe. It'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, go ahead and reorganize yourselves. Except for you guys here. Take this province so that we, they can't attack across over a river. Good. Oh, please don't lose, Germany. Please don't lose. Are you attacking, actually? No. If they're winning, that's really bad for us. Up. Oh, uh, and the French are attacking again. Okay. Well... Keep out of France. Group light machine guns. We get more defense and soft attack, which is good. Uh, that's it for 1918. It's almost 1919, actually. Hmm. Artillery. We're still researching that. The land doctrine. We're researching that. Armor. 1918. Ooh, what is it? Wait. Heavier tanks are still well and good, but a lighter, more mobile tank could keep up with the cavalry. Early heavy tank. Oh, these are light tanks. Oh, these are armored cars. I want me. Oh, yeah, let's go with this. Motor Geschütz. That actually might be really good to do. Maybe we shouldn't make any. Maybe we shouldn't make any armored cars then. If we're gonna have tanks coming, maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll really see what happens here. Oh, now, now they're really attacking across the entire line. Holy cow! That's kind of unexpected. Does anyone have upgrades? No, my cavalry veterans. Oof. Still doing really well here in. Uh. Southern or Sutero. Ooh, you have this. Uh, you can't do logis logistic wizard stuff. Ambusher? Well, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay if we, if we go to an uh, infantry expert. And it sounds like we're getting invaded in the Balkans again. Yay! And our ships are here. God, we need more battleships and stuff like that. Coasts. And I can't build any more forts or naval dockyards. God dang it. Naval dockyards. Ugh. Oh, yeah. All right, so we did take that territory, which is good. Our guys are trying to reorganize themselves a little bit. Um, something tells me eight or four divisions against one will probably win, especially right here. We're gonna move those soldiers out. We might be able to take this territory. Territory, territory, Ter piece of land, piece of land. Seven. We there. This is oh, this is gonna be bad. Go ahead and try. I know. You're kind of attacking over a river, but that's not good. But, you know, whatever. Uh, that's a lot of divisions over here. The Russians are trying to strike back over here. Yeah, and the French are definitely attacking. Hopefully the French. Yeah. Kill your own men off, France. You already have no manpower in reserves. Good, good, good. You guys give them a 1-2. Oh, you got no divisions down here. That's not good. But, that's okay. You don't need divisions down here if you're attacking and taking this territory. Uh, five. What if we did this? Attacking from several different directions, but they're pretty weak. We might be able to win. Oh, we are winning. I'm going to enjoy our winning. Ah, yes. You will get tired of winning. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of winning. Can we attack from here? No. Yeah, we can't win here because we're putting more and more divisions here, which is good, which is fine. Uh, everyone but one is going to come up here. Should be able to win there, since we are attacking in other key strategic locations. Uh, anything across this line, or we might be able to win here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Seven. Do we have any divisions here? No. Oh, we'll take half of you. You'll come down here. Kind of spread ourselves out a little bit better. Four, seven. That's quite a few divisions. Nice. They're attacking, and we'll have extra soldiers to deploy elsewhere. Are we losing anywhere? Wow, they are really attacking hard on them. On across a lot of fronts, actually, the Western Front, the Baltic Italian Front, the Serbian Front has basically reopened, and then the Ottoman Front in Western Turkey, Middle East, 
And of course, not but not too much in the Eastern Front, which is good for us. Oh, we're not going to win that battle. They're pretty weak. They are pretty darn weak. All right, now we're going to tr try to strike here. Yep, looks like we're doing very well there. Seven, seven. Good. Now you're going to try to strike here. And you're going to strike here. We'll take these two guys I want to leave, and you'll help them out. We might not win every battle, but we are going to win at least one of these battles. Four, good. Four, six. Against ten. Probably won't win over a river. Uh, but you guys might be able to do something here with a little bit of support from this guy. The Russians might be trying to close in on Lithuania, but we're expanding. Hopefully. Oh, you guys aren't winning down here. That sucks. Um, five. Good. We're trying to make sure that the enemies can't do very much. And our deficit of support equipment is going down. Oh, are we losing? That is not good. There's no ports here. Uh, yeah, put you back on high. I'm going to need a lot of you guys since we're going to be trying to garrison a lot of other things. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some armor to help me punch through a couple of these lines here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. France? That, that division... Those divisions are pretty weak. Even the American ones are pretty weak. Oh, yes. Good. Oh, well, Kiev is firmly in our control. You come here. You'll help out. That'd be good. Grind down those enemies, even though it is December. Oh! Oh, get more better capital ship attack, as well as organization. Plus 20. Holy crap. Uh, organization, though, indicates combat readiness and how organized a unit is. A unit with no organization can't fight or move effectively. And then we can get better destroyer sub-detection and organization, better battleship organization, capital ship attack. Capital ship attack. That's really good. That'll really put our navy as small it is, as it is, into a very good position. Three. Uh, I really hope the Russian industry can't meet its expectations. Yeah, we're not winning down here. Well, we might as well stop attacking. Or we just continue grinding them down. Oh, early artillery upgrade one. Lessons learned from the development of different artillery can be cross-applied to the design of other pieces. Oh, we get more heart attack, that's it? Oh, that sucks. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more than just heart attack, but eh, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. So we're researching some light tanks. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, we've already researched that. Infantry? Hmm, it'd be better mountaineers. We don't really, really use mountaineers. Oh, let's get better logistics at least. Because logistics everywhere could be a little bit improved on. Oh, you guys... You guys got a prime target here. You might be able to win. I hope so. We all hope so. Uh, you go here. You go here. Take half of you guys and help them out as well. I know it's winter. It's a terrible time to attack. But I want to keep the Russians on their feet. Ooh. What's going on here? Attacking from several different locations might really help. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Probably... Oh, maybe we'll win. Maybe we'll win. Maybe we might win. I like winning. Don't you like winning? I like winning. Uh, you'll attack here. You'll take half of your group. You'll attack here. And then you'll attack from the south. And invasions anywhere? Well, the western front. They like attacking during winter. Yeah, I really want to push into this, guys. Look how weak these divisions are. Like, I literally checked. They are... The French are completely out of equipment. They're literally, as I showed you, out of manpower. Yet the AI is still, like, gung-ho about killing their own soldiers. Thank you, AI. You are just absolute geniuses. Absolutely. Then look at our supplies. we got an armored car. We've got lots of guns. Field guns. Motorized. We're out of, you know, support equipment, but that's pretty much always expected. Uh, I'm not going to do much with armored cars yet. I really need more support equipment. So, let's make some factories. If we can. Somewhere. Is it Domir? Kiev? Sure. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. And we have 44 backup divisions. Nice. That in mind, we will need to use some of these for deterring naval invasions up here. Hmm. I do want Kiev garrison, though. Uh, Brest Litovsky? That'll be fine. I'll keep the rest, hopefully, in the Baltics. Trying to help out. That'd be good. So that way, when we're building more factories, we can actually keep those factories, or at least make sure that they're not damaged. Uh, you guys can stop attacking from here. Yeah. 
You can help attack, though. So anywhere else? Uh, you guys need to attack there eventually. You want some sort of battle, it looks like. Push them over the river if you can. There's a lot of river stuff going on. Uh, no, yeah. You help out. You help out. I know you just finished trying to help out, but you know, keep trying. Okay, so you still have the process. Oh, synthetic oil refinery is good. It's so close to 1919. So close. Uh, let's get some better dreadnoughts, because they're important. You're going to stop attacking. And you're going to help start re-attacking. Because I want these territories. we got to have them. And then you all will attack right here. Should be able to win. Should. Good. As long as we're winning on it pretty much every battle. Did I? Oh, we're still fighting this battle. Hmm. Should I stop it? Should I not? Not much is really going on. I can probably throw you back into the, the battle. Probably. See what happens. Maybe give you a little command power boost. It did take a lot of command power, but that's alright. Uh, ooh, let's get an improvis improvisation expert so you can move a little faster, just in case. Just in case. Throw on whoever we need to, even though those guys aren't really good at attacking. Oh, we're going to win here, looks like. Good. And look at all this logistics stuff. Ugh. Oh, you guys should probably help out as well. Oh, oh, infantry, oh, equipment effort two. Good, so we get a little bonus to infantry weapons, even though we're not really doing very much with them. Maybe we'll do, we'll do aviation effort. Just because we haven't, we've pretty much neglected our complete air force at this point. We don't really have an air force very much. So I think it's a good time to maybe start. It's already 1919, Happy New Year, everyone, but we'll see what we can do with that. Go to more military factories, good. Um, see, so we can attack here, maybe. Maybe they'll drain some soldiers away. At least drain their equipment. We're winning here, it looks like. Kind of. Yeah. Look at those. Look at that cavalry division. So weak. Mm -hmm. I doubt we can really win here. We have low organization. We're still not winning this battle. My gosh. Yeah, at this point, just stop it. And this, that was a failed mistake. They keep sending in more soldiers that we can't really win. Do you want land? No? Good. Oh, how about over here? Oh, uh, they've reinforced their lines a little bit. What if we tried to win? What if we tried? <clears throat> well, we actually might win, maybe. Uh, you come here, and then make your way over. Maybe we won't. They are trying to add more divisions to that province. But maybe we will. You never know. Yes, attacking you is a terrible idea, but the show must go on, should it not? Losses, I'm sure, yeah, we've already lost two-thirds of a million soldiers. But something tells me that that is okay. Are we losing... Oh, we might be losing a battle here, maybe? Maybe not? Battleships? Oh, we got another battleship. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Very awesome. Yeah, the French soldiers are very, very weak. Oh, looks like the Ottomans have actually made an encirclement of all things. Wow! That's impressive. Even I've been made an encirclement. And they've been taking more territory in the Middle East back. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. That's really good. That's really, really good. Even though they might have a breakthrough over here. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, oh, we got we got quite a few soldiers up here, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, where do we get strike, though? Uh, we get strike here. It is over a river. Terrible thing to attack. But if we're staying here, we just don't have the infrastructure. We keep losing supplies as we stay up here. So if we can take that, we can start moving else, elsewhere. Uh, five. That's pretty good. We might be able to win here so that they... Constantly have a depletion of their supplies. Three, four. Hmm. Six men. I think this, yeah, this Mongolian division is very weak. This is good to see. Very good to see. Getting invaded in the Western Balkans. Yep. Pretty standard. Did we? Did we win yet? Or did we lose? Oh, we're we're gonna actually take some French territory, maybe? Maybe? No, they keep funneling funneling in more soldiers, regrettably. We'll see what happens. If we can, if we can maybe take more French territory, that'd be really impressive. Oh, for some reason, I thought Germany was falling. In the Baltics again. Maybe not. Nice. We keep taking more territory. This is good. This is very, very good. And this is our next province, hopefully, to take. I'm gonna wait for these boys to get a little bit more strength first before we actually assault. Actually, all of you guys can assault this direction. Because you're all attacking over a river, it's all going to suck anyways. Well, maybe we'll win. 
All right. You're strong enough. Maybe you'll win here. Oh, actually. Since you're striking, you can help out in this direction as well. Give our guys a little bit more strength from another direction. Ah, and the Germans are trying to attack again. Good luck, Germans. Good luck. You're going to need it. I'm going to try this maybe one more time. I don't know. Really want... Oh, we actually took the, a little bit of French territory. Surprise, surprise. You're not invincible on your defense, France. Oh, and maybe maybe the French army is starting to fail. This is really good. In 1919, early 1919, the French army is showing signs of serious cracks. That's really good. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll really win that battle too much. Oh, we took this. That's good. Good job, Germans. Uh, since, you know, they're winning the battle, you might as well help out. Uh, you can help out here with my soldiers as well. I don't want to defend Germany. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You're going to need it. Uh, you might as well help out. Structure here is not super good. Oh, that's fleet. So, do we have any upgrades? Um, Fortress Buster is not bad. For more fort attack. No, I don't know about this. So, for Fortress Buster for a fort, is that like plus 20 attack whenever you're attacking forts? It's automatically applied? Or, when you use the ability Siege Artillery... Siege artillery, then you get the bonus. I'm not really sure. If someone in the comments can tell me, that'd be great. I kind of want to do scavengers so we get more equipment, because we might be running out of equipment. So I'm going to leave that alone for now, but if someone tells me in the comments, that would be great. So we got more ship attack and organization. Good. 1919. Do we have any 1919 tech? Air doctrine stuff we could do. Probably, yeah, air stuff. Yeah, let's do, it. let's do some air stuff. Some air stuff. That sounds good. C6. Anywhere weak along, along the line. You're going to attack first. And you're going to help support the attack. Uh, you guys have stopped attacking, which is probably a bad idea. Uh, you can help the attack regardless. Look at our supplies. Same. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And we've got 10 armored cars. Nice. Oh, we are slowly closing in on the French. This is good. This is really good. Why is it an E down here? Oh, that's a, that's a town. <laughs> I'm like, why does that div 14 divisions have an E? I've, I've never seen that before. That's just part of those 14 divisions. All right, guys, you're not done. You're not done yet. They have, oh, five level five land forts. Are we winning? Can we win this, Victor Tankel? Yeah, we might be winning. Philip Paton has nothing on us. He may be a level three general, but we are a level five. Oh, we couldn't take that territory. That's disappointing. But that just means that we have more soldiers to attack elsewhere. Level 8. Uh, 6, 4. That might be good to attack. Try to attack. We're still trying to win here. Uh, we're not quite winning here. It's unfortunate. Can't win there because we have other armies moving. Uh, we might be able to win here, though. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, I like this. Four divisions probably won't be able to hold out. But yeah, my goal is just pretty much a war of attrition at this point. Of course, you shouldn't be doing a wars of attrition in Russia. That's probably a big no-no. But I think at this point, what's the Russian manpower like? I Oh, they have a lot of manpower, of course. But their equipment levels are extremely low. Like, much lower than mine. Uh, actually, everyone's equipment levels are probably lower than mine. Maybe except for Japan. They're not really fighting a land war. You're not moving, boy. You ain't moving. That's, oh, are we actually losing? That's not good. All right, so the British, like our last naval battles, told us. They do have ships in here. That's why I'm keeping my ships in the port for now. I don't want them all blown up. We have a very, very limited navy, no matter how good our land doctrine is. And the Ottomans are actually winning in the Caucasus now. Or close to the Caucasus region. Holy crap. Like, they've actually advanced. They're taking back almost all the territory that they've lost. That's... I was, I was honestly not really impressed by the Ottomans when they first started. I was like, yeah, it's, they might lose Constantinople. That's not good. But at this point...
kind of like, wow, they might actually win. Maybe they'll actually do well. Maybe they're worthy of being called our ally. Alright, we're going to attack from here as well, again. Constant draining of the resources, even though it is kind of hurting our resources as well. Oh, that's a rip. I don't want to attack over there, though. Hmm. Five. And, of course, we are suffering from attrition, like I said. Aviation effort, better air doctrine research, good. Uh, fighter focuses? Well, I've already done a lot of this, I bet. Bomber focus. Yeah, let's do bomber focus. Because I haven't really done anything... I have literally done nothing for bombers, so... Maybe we'll win here? Nope, can't give him any extra attack boosts. Please, it's already March and it's still snowy all over the place. Hmm, two, uh, two, uh, something tells me that, uh, this won't go too badly for us. Actually, six. That might be okay. Once they win their battle, I can send these divisions over to the right here. Uh, five, yep, you guys can probably win here, which is good. Uh, send some extra divisions that way. Oh, you have three? Yeah, keep keep this battle going. Don't give them a time to rest. Oh, are we losing? Oh, please don't. Please don't lose here. Is this... This doesn't have a port, so we're going to help you win there for now. Good, good, good. We're still trying to take this province. Wow. Do you have any upgrades, sir? No? Alright, no, that's okay. They're already pretty well upgraded, so... Not really concerned too much. Good. Up, oh, and they won that battle. C Can we make an encirclement with ten divisions here? If we could cut off seven divisions, that'll literally be our first encirclement of this war. It only took us five years. Only five years, that's all. It only takes five years to make a good, make a good encirclement. We're still out of support equipment, which sucks. Oh, we are losing our stockpile of field equipment. Maybe we should stop attacking so much. Yeah, we'll probably have to wait on all of our attacks. Yeah, I, I at least I want to finish our successful battles first. Uh, let's see, six, four. I need better infrastructure. I need better logistics. I need better everything. Oof. Uh, they have five divisions. Three. Ooh, so, oh, here we go. Now we're getting into some more modern doctrines. So... We have 20% more soft stack, yes! And then we're going to get eventually more organization and a better uh, tactic. A good tactic to use. I think it's pretty good. I don't know, maybe it's weak. I can't remember. Oh, <gasps> Have we done it? Maybe not. Maybe we haven't. We want to take those guys out first, though. We have actually made our first encirclement. Seven Russian divisions are going to die. Well, or some of them are already dead, but you get my drift. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. The absolute mad lads. So good. Alright, so you're here. At this point, I'm concerned for our stockpiles of artillery, so I might lower the amount of attacks we are currently doing. Actually, I probably will. But like I said, I want to win a few of these battles first. Keep that battle going on. That'll help us out. Five. Let me try to attack here. We might win. Give him maybe a little boost. Help force the attack. Right here could use a good attack as well. Yeah, that's good. We are still fighting this battle down here. My gosh. We basically we have to have this province though. That's the thing. I don't want to attack into like level five forts across the river. So that's a big no 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 no. We have 800 pieces of artillery left. I think you guys come down here. Take half of you to attack this way, and take the other half to attack this way, so we can open up another province to attack down here. Because getting over these rivers is just a pain in the butt. Oh my gosh, Germany, you've ex definitely expanded. And you've made another encirclement. Good job, guys. Um, yeah, take, the, take these guys out. These guys seem extremely weak. The Russians, I think, are maybe panicking because there are no divisions of where the Germans have decided to expand. Holy crap, it's completely open territory. Oh my gosh. Do we have an extra war bonds? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. That sounds like a good idea. Motorgeschütz. Great. We have our first light tanks researched. 
Good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's get some more better field hospitals, too. And we'll change this to early light tanks. Actually, when's the next light tank able to be researched? Oh, 1912? 1912. 1922. So let's go ahead. We'll replace the armored car with some... Oh. Better armored tanks. So we get more armor. We need more speed. So we get... Basically, slightly faster light tanks with more soft attack, more hard attack, a little bit more armor, more reliability, and piercing. Uh, and it costs us basically nothing. Keep those guys going on maybe a, a 5 setting. Yeah, we're good, we're good with military factories for now. Good. We're actually going to be able to take Minsk. We're actually going to take Minsk. It was in a territory I wasn't planning on taking, but hell, we'll take it. It looks like the Russian army is kind of scared at this point. And you know what? If I was Russia... I would be too. I would be very scared at this point, actually. Send half of you guys. Actually, go up here. Oh, the Germans are launching an offensive. Oh my god, what's going on? Look at all this, all these bubbles. Everyone's trying to attack and defend. Wait, what's going on? It's lagging. <gasps> oh no. Tsar Nicholas abdicates. Demonstrations have forced the poor Tsar into official abdication. It only took until 1919. Though the Tsar is named Grand Duke Michael as its successor, the Duke has declined. Uh, the appointment of a weak provisional government has happened, which shared power with Petrograd Soviet Socialists, which has led to confusion and chaos at both the front and at home. The Soviet Soviet Russia declared run the Russian Empire. <gasps> what could this mean for the war? What could this mean for the war? Oh my gosh, the white movement versus the Soviets, which we're not at war with. The common turn versus white movement. Oh, God. oh, the Mongolians are in there. Oh my gosh, what could this mean for the fate of the the war? Oh my gosh. Oh, we, we've got to stop here. I don't want this to go, like, too much longer, so. What has just happened? We have sparked revolution in Russia. It only took us five years. Or maybe four and a half, really. But the Russian people are tired of this war. And at this point, I think in the next episode, we can finally break the Russians back and just be finished with the Eastern Campaign, which, of course, which will cause all sorts of confusion for the Entente. But that's okay. Hopefully, we can get our territory that we so rightfully earn. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did. I would really appreciate if you did leave a like, at least for this video, just because we have advanced both in the Western, the Western Front and the Eastern Front. And our allies have advanced in the Middle East as well, or at least reclaimed some of the territory. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow, as we will hopefully see the end of the Russian Empire. Thank you for watching.